Welcome to Leader TV. These are the breaking news with Nadia Avila. Welcome to Leader TV, the most active online television in Bolvaredos. How are you today? I am Nadia Avila and I'm very glad to be here with you once again. Today, June 15th, it's a very important date for us because it is Leader TV's second anniversary. Thank you for following us because that is why we are the most active online television in Bolaredos. And please remember that your opinions and comments are very important for us, so please contact us to, through our social nets. Dallas residents set to work Thursday cleaning up and repairing damage from a sudden hailstorm. Forecasters called one of the city's worst in 10 years. Tennis ball-sized hailstones began to shower down with alarming speed around 6 p.m. Wednesday, smashing in windows and skylights, tearing apart trees and denting cars, although no injuries were reported. David Bronner walked into the office of his Escondido Soap factory th Thursday and his staff gave him a boisterous welcome. Their cheers came two days after Bronner locked himself in a cage in front of the White House, was arrested and sent to jail. It was another chapter in the long struggle to legalize industrial hemp, a close cousin of the Schedule One controlled substance called marijuana. Hemp is a fibrous plant that has been used for hundreds of years to make clothing and other fabrics. Today, it, it is also an important part of the soaps David Bronner makes. This week he, he, this week he amounted an especially elaborate act of civil disobedience when he was brought to the front of the White House in a cage in which Bronner was displaying hemp plants and extracting oil from their seats. DC cops responded by cutting through the bars with a circular saw and carting Bronner off to jail. Alan, which events are we going to have this weekend? Thank you, Nadia. Well, let me tell you that the city of Laredo is seeking volunteers to assist over 200 vendors who will be featured at this year's 10th Annual Sister Cities Festival. Taking place at the Laredo Energy Arena, volunteers need to be at least 16 years old and should have cash handling experience. Volunteers must be U.S. citizens or legal residents. Uh, well, interested individuals should contact Diana Fullerton at the city of Laredo nonprofit manager management and volunteer center at 956-795-2675 or via email which is just showing on your screen starting tomorrow but no later than tuesday july 10. volunteers will have uh, an orientation meeting prior to the event now uh, well i just want to say congratulations to leader tv for its second anniversary thanks to you for staying watching the most active online television Nadia, there's more information on your side of the studio. City of Laredo Mayor Raul Salinas has long advocated to the United States Congress, President Obama's administration, and his fellow mayors that this nation needs to treat fairly undocumented youth that dream of becoming citizens of the United States. Today, those efforts paid off as Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano announced she could create a program allowing DREAM Act eligible youth to apply for provisional status on a case-by-case -case basis, allowing immigrant youth to pursue their dreams while contributing their considerable talents to the country they love and consider home. Good night to everyone. I hope you have a nice weekend. This is Lider TV, the most active online television in Bolaredos.